Hello cookbook friends and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at tandoori home cooking. Over 70 classic Indian tandoori recipes to cook at home. I'm really excited. This is by Manika Gowardon. I'm pumped. So this has a really awesome table of contents. Pretty self-explanatory. It's interesting. We start with our mains right here and kind of work our way to some condiments, sides, salads, desserts, and drinks, and many plans. I have to show you how many photos are actually in this cookbook. It is very photogenic. It's beautiful. I love the pale pink, but this is super approachable, very fun. In the very beginning, we do have our essentials, which is super helpful, um, especially if you've never cooked Indian food generally. It's so nice to have because um, there's so many different spices. I have a huge spice cabinet. So here we start with tandoori chicken tikka. Beautiful. In the very beginning, well, first it says it serves for the top. We have, I mean, this is a classic. It does have some sides, different ways of increasing the flavor profiles or changing it a little bit. No substitutes, by the way. Um, it's pretty straight. Like this is the recipe. So you'll, you're on your own for substitutes. Here we have our list of ingredients kind of divided up into steps. And then here's our step-by-step -step ingredients. Super beautiful. Here is a spiced green chicken skewers with mint, coriander, and chili. I am all for this. This looks so good. I am. Oh, I can't wait till our kitchen is done. Some of the recipes do have step-by-step -step photos. And like, for instance, the naan. It is very cool. This is a stuffed chicken recipe with different kinds of stuffing. So like you can have a marinade. The stuffing has like ground spices. Um, we have egg, there's even a gravy, the mint chutney, so many things. Moving on, here's lamb recipes. I'm really excited about it. Spiced lamb skewers with black pepper, cumin, and dried mango. We also have a slow roasted leg of lamb with ginger, cardamom, cloves, and saffron. Oh, yum, that looks so good. Here is fish and seafood, a whole section for that as well. Salmon tikka skewers marinated in green chili, basil, and coriander. This looks so good. I'm so excited. Ginger marinated king prawns with turmeric, mustard, and chili. Beautiful. I love the different market photos. They're some of my favorites. Spicy potato and fig cakes with chili, mint, and coriander. Wow. So cool. We have a potato paneer sweet corn kebab. Ooh, that looks super tasty. Okay, and I so one thing that I do like is we have different variations of like grilled corn from around the world, but this cookbook has like a tandoori oriented corn and I'm, I'm digging it. It looks so good. Saffron infused paneer with chili, ginger, and yogurt. Something you'll notice, like we do have the serving size up here, but as we progress through the cookbook, you'll see, like here's our non step-by-step -step photo, but you'll see we have like serves as an accompaniment. So that's really helpful. We have like serves as a side or, you know, dessert, etc. So that's pretty nice if you wanted to do like a big table setting and have a whole slew of, you know, items on the table, you can kind of even it out. Uh, oh, I think we already did this one. So we have the naan. Let me see. Let's get some more photos here. This was the roasted tomato chutney, which looks beautiful. There's a whole bunch of different chutneys you can choose from that all sound very good. Like the sweet and spicy lemon pickle. Uh, it's technically not a chutney, I guess, but I guess it kind of is. Spicy coconut and cashew chutney. Look at that. I mean, that looks so, so cool. We have mint raita. Pickled whole chilies. So all of these are great sides to have so people can kind of add it to their own thing. This is smoked butter, step-by-step -step photos. Here's more sides and salads, but like true sides. Broccoli, cashew, nut, and coconut fried or stir fry. This looks beautiful. Roasted carrots glazed with chili mango chutney. Wow. Oh, I would eat, I think I would probably eat that by the spoonful by myself. Um, we have red onion, tomato, and tamarind chutney. Spiced orange salad with green chili and coriander. Holy cow, that looks beautiful. 
And then let's look at some of these desserts. Oh my goodness, creamy mango yogurt with cardamom and saffron. Holy cow, and it's pretty too. No churn, rose and cardamom ice cream. Beautiful. And then there are drinks as well in here. Uh, this is an ice cream float with jelly, chia seeds, noodles, and crushed pistachios. What kind of noodles? <gasps> Vermicelli noodles. Okay, I would try this. This looks interesting. I bet you it's kind of like a whole meal. We have a spiced tamarind drink with mint, coriander, ginger, and chili. This looks so good. Table settings. We have meal planning at the very, very back. So if you did want to do an awesome Indian spread, you totally can, and it guides you, gives you step-by-step, -step, well, not step-by-step -step photos, but it tells you which pages all of these dishes are on. Um, there's vegetarian feast, vegan, meat, beautiful photos to go with it. Super fun. This is tandoori home cooking. I love this, and I cannot wait to try some of the recipes for in here. If you are looking for some more Indian-oriented cookbooks, we have a ton. Check out our playlist and join us over on our socials on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, um, and clearly YouTube. <laughs> And I think we're trying to start our podcast again. So make sure to also join us on amazon.com slash live slash cookbook divas. You'll see a lot of cookbook look throughs over there. Um, if you want, if you do enjoy cookbooks, subscribe, follow, and let us know what cookbook you want us to look through next time. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.